Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Stranger of Sword City. So, I think I'm going to the leader's room, right? Yeah. Good work, I knew you would come down here. Hey, I was expecting you. Welcome back, sorry for making you go alone. But, weren't you surprised? The ruler of the slums is a girl. Eh, not really. Oh, I see. I didn't even notice until all mentioned it to me. Now you've met all three vessels. From now on, it's up to you to decide who to give the power to. It's just like Merla said, that's the promise we made. Let's see. So now that we've all met, now your duties truly begin. Sorry, but we don't have time to let the Chosen Ones do whatever. I know this is sudden, but you should go slay lineage types. Here's where to find them. First, the Mausoleum of Forests, north of the Guild. Then, the Underground of Merilus Kingdom, Shadow Palace. Lastly, the Valley of the Ruined, those three locations. Go to wherever you'd like, and bring back lots of blood crystals. Bring back lots? It's not like they grow on trees. Go check your Wanted Lineages book to see where the lineage types are. It's important to have a plan. You'll be fine. Believe in your powers. It is the duty of the Chosen Ones to collect the blood crystals. At the same time, it's the duty of the strangers to slay lineage types. Defeating lineage types will keep Sword City safe and secure. The Strangers Guild has established was established for that purpose. Yeah, well, those things are important, but we're here to do something even more important than that. Yeah, that's true. We can't forget our true purpose. We are strangers. We were led by some strange destiny to Sword City as strangers. To return to our original world, that is our true duty. For that to happen, sacrifices may have to be made. Heaven forbid that's the case. But, as a stranger yourself, you should prepare for the worst. Yeah, we're going home, no matter what happens. Our bond as strangers is forever. We can only trust each other. Let's do our best for a future just for us. Let's fight through this and live. And we will all go home together back home. Okay, so we've accomplished the vessels. Now I assume I'm just let loose? Hey dude. Man, doesn't it feel like a hero's departure? Isn't it exciting? Don't get so excited that you get all your allies killed. I'll be careful. Yeah, yeah. Honesty is a virtue. Anyway, I didn't come here just to tell you that. Um, I wonder if you can see it. Can you see that thing over there? As Anna speaks, she points to a rock in the corridor. Yeah, that weird shiny thing there. We call it the Grand Magic Stone. Simple name. Hey now, it's good to keep things simple. The labyrinths you're going to will have smaller versions of those. It's probably what you expect, but that one is a magic stone. If you find that magic stone, make sure to touch it. That way you can warp to these locations in the labyrinth. It also works the other way. You can warp outside using it. Having an escape route is a good idea, so make sure to find them. And that's all I have to talk about. See you later. I expect tons of blood crystals. Wanted lineage is updated. Princess of Plants and three others. Hidden Sniper and two others. Weedling General and three others. See, these are the main ones and then secondary ones. Okay, actually, there's something else. Lineage rumors. Let's see. What, you want to talk? Sure, but there's not much to say. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you about the black sweet candy. There's a monster that loves to eat that candy. To be clear, it's a lineage type in the Mausoleum of Metal. It attacks when you're walking, so be careful of that. Oh yeah, I have another... I Oh yeah, I remember. I have another interesting story. I heard this from some chivalry newbie, but you know about the Armor Knights wandering in the Shadow Palace? The source of their power is a crystal called a Heartstone. Lately, people with Heartstones have been getting mugged. They're attacked by knights who are with Armor Knights. That must mean the culprit is more powerful than the knights. If you find any armor knights, don't take the heart stones. Just get rid of it, unless you want to fight that villain. That's all I got. If you like my stories, I'll tell you more. Come back again. So, different NPCs will have lineage rumors that we can, um... That we can, you know, ask them for. And it'll point us towards some... I guess I'm gonna say rare ones, but still. Okay, so I need some money. Luckily, I got a ton of junk to sell. I'm also using... I've switched almost completely over to the um, mouse at this point. It actually... 
I'm gonna say the mouse might actually be a better way of controlling this game than uh, normal. But yeah, let's let's make some cash here. Let's see. So anything with like bent probably can get sold. Oh, that middle bow is good. Uh, the bamboo normal can get sold. The wooden katana can be sold. We'll sell the plus one spear if we don't need it. Um, let's see. Short bow, short bow plus three. There we go. Okay, so now we got some cash. Buy item. Black sweets. I have no idea if this lineage type is actually going to be a problem, but might as well look into it. Okay, so, quick question. Oh, right, she's got these two. Uh, I actually got some rare weapons. I've been grinding a little bit just so my characters aren't complete shit and, you know, die all the time. But, so I got a pair of rare throwing weapons. A snake boomerang and uh, golden darts. And I uh, threw them on the ranger. So she does... 14 times 4 and 33 times 1. Yeah, that's going to be some damage. I really need to figure out if uh, agility is what adjusts that damage or if it's strength. I want to say it's agility, but I could be wrong. Anyway, she's got two bamboo spears. However, what's going to be better? Oh, really? Huh. Apparently she can't equip the... Um... Oh, the bamboo spears are long blades, whereas the spear is a polearm. Uh... And I guess she can't equip pole arms. Good to know. And I've also got heal rings on everybody, or some variety of healy thing. Uh, so we should be able to uh, heal while we're walking around and not tax my uh, not tax my healer too much. You know, let's save in this slot just for the time being. And you know what? I know we've been kicking around the mausoleum of metal a bunch, but seeing as we got that black candy rumor, I'm really interested in uh, seeing what that is. Plus, I want to show you guys my kind of farming strategy. Uh, so, obviously, RPG, you generally want to grind, just so you're not, you know, totally doomed. I also want to try out all of my equipment before I go to a new a new dungeon, even though it doesn't matter too much. Okay, apply. Alright. I like my ranger. I'm not entirely sure if the middle bow is going to be any better, but uh, I feel like as I race her stats, having all those extra attacks is going to help. Could be wrong. Anyway, fast supply. I mean, it's just basic frogs. Okay. But yeah, so what I've been doing, uh, for, what I've been doing for this specifically is um, I've actually been going to every single ambush point, and I can pretty much reliably kill these guys every single time, which is really nice. Uh, which means I can more or less. Oops whale on these guys and generally get gear it's better it's better than trying to buy it because they do they do not give you a whole lot of money in this game but they actually give you a fair amount of items if you feel like um, <laughs> uh, if you feel like grinding for it which I actually really like okay and the samurai is nice she gets to dual wield Alright, let's just fast apply and just wail through them the rest of this way. I really wish there was a button for specifically fast apply. Unless there might be one, I should check. Anyway, we get a pair of helmets. Okay, so party, identify helmet. Wood helm plus two. Leather helm plus two. Okay, party, member, Artemis. She at the very least needs a new helmet. So the question is, wood helm. Okay, leather helm plus two, wood helm, dented pot. Yep, she could use it. Okay. But yeah, that would have cost me an arm and a leg anywhere else. But here, not so much so. So let's just keep wandering around. I want that lineage type to show up uh, before we leave. I wonder if I'm supposed to have multiple black candies. I don't know. But I'll just fast apply through most of these fights. They're pretty zero crit. Oh yeah, let's, let's check if there's a specific fast apply button. Uh, that'll be nice. Plus, we're slowly eking our way up a level. I guess I really just need to figure out what the 4 key is on the keyboard. Because I like being able to click. It makes navigating the user interface a lot faster. Alright, so first question. Options. Let's see. This is not it. Here we go. Okay, 4 is R. Good to know. Battle log on a quick ball. Okay, so R... Oh, one and four is switch tabs. Gotcha. Well, 
as long as we know that 4 is R, that'll make this look, uh, a lot faster. So let's level up. We've leveled up. Uh, let's keep putting points into strength. More damage is always appreciated. And he learned Chivalric Sword, which is, I believe, attack a row? Check, learn, skill. Chivalric Sword. Attack an enemy in each row halves user's defense plus creatures. Eh. Okay. That's not a big deal. And... Hiding. Yes. I want to fight that lineage site before we leave, though, just because. Oh. I'm not entirely sure what kind of... Oh, clothing is in that box. Gotcha. Alright, well... Oh, that's much faster. R in space? I didn't even have to click anymore. Oh, that's going to make grinding through things way quicker. And we get random clothes. Okay, map... Let's just go down here. I want to walk as much as possible for that lineage type to show up. And we're completely not injured. So... Oh, party's been ambushed. Oh, whatever. Oh, that's them healing each other. I was wondering what that side sound effect was. It's like, I'm not healing myself here. Okay, let's cancel auto move. Party member. Uh, who's leveled up? My wizard and my fighter. Okay, level up. Just keep throwing it into strength. She learned Rush. What's that do? Rush. Concentration. Randomly attack an enemy row three times. Ooh. Okay. And... the bail. Level up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's get him up to 20 intelligence. And he learned Enhanced Magic, was that? Okay, enhance all magic effects cast during battle. Is that a skill that he uses, or... I have no idea. Okay, whatever. We'll figure it out. Uh, oh. Hold on. Hold horses. Horses. Hold them. We have 20 morale. We might as well go back and do another ambush. Because the more stuff I can get, the better. Plus, I think the secondary ambush has better stuff. Ah, looks like it's bows. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Uh, let's see. But yeah. Oh, this is much faster, and these guys barely do damage to me anymore. I still have to worry about the occasional ambush from level 20s. Uh, but we'll be, we'll be good beyond that. Okay, new needle trap and a couple of slings. Eh. Not really worth caring about, but this will be okay. And if you notice... Oh, everybody except for Artemis' his HP is coming back. So I'll have to get her some kind of heal ring. I thought I... Oh, it's because I changed her uh, butterfly robe away. I get ya. Well, that'll be fine. Chances are we're not going to run into anything particularly onerous. Though, if we go too much farther, I'm probably going to want to stop by base and save, just so, you know, if we do run into a boss fight, uh, we don't just totally die. Alright. I'm going to put it into agility. Let's see if her damage didn't go up. Okay, so I'm going to have to put it into strength for the ranger. Well, that's fine. Next time we level up, it'll be strength for her, and we'll see if that adjusts the weapon. Up. And we have more levels up. Uh, it's Okay, it's just stabbing. Stabbing levels up, stabbing gets... Yeah, one more into strength. 20 strength seems like a good stopping point. Not to mention, that is some serious damage she can put out. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure where this lineage type is supposed to be. Maybe I have to head towards the end or something. Uh, well, we haven't run into them yet. I might finish the circuit, go back and save. Ooh, I think this is a hammer box. That'd be really nice if it was a rare hammer. Okay, skill slash... Let's see, skill, chivalric sword, fight, right, she doesn't have a spear, defend, defend, fight, dude in the back. Alright, fast apply, there we go, got it. Okay, fair amount of EXP, and nope, never mind, it's, uh, it's just boomerangs. It says weapon, but probably totally boomerangs. Okay, so let's head back up. We've still got a small chance that the boss is going to show up. 
but my bet is it, it shows up at the end of the dungeon. Ish? I don't know. Anyway, skill, slash, skill, chivalric sword, skill, concentrate. Oh, she does have that ability now. Uh, yeah, let's do it here. So he can do enhanced weapon, uh, magic now. Uh, and cast better spells. And she's going to hit one of these princes. Okay, fast apply. Okay, skill, slash, skill, chivalric sword, skill, rush. Uh, let's see. Defend. I'm just gonna have him defend. These guys are too easy. Yeah, I was I was worried for a second. Princes can be a little bit frustrating. Uh, they have pretty high damage fireballs. And they suck. <laughs> and I don't want to run afoul of it. Looks like they didn't feel like using it today, though. Alright, let's head for the exit. I'm gonna save, just because paranoia. We've gotten several levels here, and losing somebody always sucks. I really wish you could save mid-dungeon. But whatever. Um, I'm just worried about, like, later dungeons later on. So, Battercloth plus four. Ooh, War Slings. Would be nice, but I don't need them. Pebbles, Boomerang, Throwing Knife plus five. Interesting. 24 times one. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay, Stranger Base, Stranger's Guild, System, Save... Save four. Okay. Let's head back out. Stranger base, mo metal. We're just gonna head for the um, the far exit. I'm not gonna really bother grinding. Uh, so let's head here. I think this is the fastest way in. It's been a while since I've been through here. Or. I guess seemingly a while? I don't know, I've spent a lot of time, uh, well, not a lot of time, maybe like an hour or two, grinding. Just, just cause, like, honestly, the, the last time I, I filmed, uh, oops, we got our butts kicked. Well, I mean, we beat the boss, but we lost two people. And that's, in my opinion, largely unacceptable, considering there's a real-world time aspect to this. And I don't really feel like running afoul of that. Question. Skill. Chivalric sword. What's she using? Oh. Huh. Whatever. Yeah, unfortunately, concentration is uh, time-consuming. Probably not going to use that on most. Okay. Fight mimic. Common trap for gold. Uh, it's poison trap. Poison gas trap. Okay. That's obnoxious. We'll probably be fine. First time I've run afoul of one of those. Pretty rough business. Especially considering how expensive pure poison is. Okay. Oh! Here it is! Lineage appeared. Enemy encountered. So what is this guy called? Mukabu the Third. So it's, it's definitely a goblin. It's got a horn in one hand. And like a little, little scepter thing. I'd say it's adorable, but it's kind of looks like a jerk. Okay, so let's just hit him. Let's just hit him. His little gobbos in the back probably aren't that uh, worrisome. We'll defend. S actually, skill, enhance magic, and fight. Okay, fly. Oh shit, this guy has some pretty hefty defenses. He doesn't do a whole lot of damage, though. Which is appreciated. Okay. He moves to the back. Let's do Slash. Let's do Chivalric Sword. Let's do... Fight. Let's do... Don't really care about spells. Let's do... I could do... A Thunderbolt, but I think let's just hit Mugabu... Mukabu. With fire. And let's hit Mukabu again. Okay. Those... Maybe those multi-hit combos aren't as good as I'd like to think they are. Okay. Didn't realize she had a counter skill. Okay. Yeah, we're killing them. We're killing them slow. Uh, let's see. So I think we're good. Let's do. Let's do a repeat of that. Okay. Now we need to rethink things. So let's fight. Skill. 
fight, skill, rush, skill, nope, spell, multi-cure, spell, firebolt, fight. Okay, fly. Hoping my healer goes first, though I'm not too worried about things. Okay. Oh, I stunned him. Beautiful. And there he goes. He ran out of energy. Does that mean he died? Hey, well, one way or another, we got a blood crystal and a lot of experience. And two wands. I'll take it. So that was the chocolate maniac. Oh, that's what the black candy was. It's brown. I was lied to. Alright. Uh... You know, we're probably fine. We might as well hit up a little bit in here. I don't quite want to go to a new new zone yet. Mostly out of... I'm not even going to say laziness. So much as... Uh... You know, I, I kind of want to separate my content out. So we might just wander around hitting things for a little while. Obviously we have to worry about the occasional rough fight. But this, is, this isn't a problem. Those fireballs kind of suck. But we'll be fine. My characters are definitely getting tougher, so they're not they're not as concerning as they used to be. Uh, though you will occasionally run into level 20 parties of monsters out here. That that bit always is very rather unpleasant. Okay. I also really wish MP would just come back slowly. I think there's a skill that recovers it, but we got to get there first. I guess I could consider passing at some point along the way here. But I don't really care. I'm just I'm just in it for whatever loot the game decides to give me. Okay. Well, I guess let's head for the stairs. Don't think I can get back from this though. Oh shit. Wasn't there something at the far end of this? Huh. Yeah, so there's more to the Mausoleum of Metal than it lets on. Alright, well let's just let's just walk back. I don't think going to the plane wreckage is gonna do me any good. I find these little buff things kinda interesting. I guess they must associate with the various uh blessings that I can throw on. Alright. Well, let's see. Also I'm glad most of you guys seem to like the um the the new art style for this game. Oops. There we go. Uh, actually, I've got I got twenty. We can, or I almost have twenty. We'll probably have twenty by the time we make it to this room. The answer is no. Can't do hiding. Yeah, don't have enough morale. Kind of wish you could like. I really wish you could rest in this game. Uh, I saw an argument about resting and not resting on the Steam forums, and people were like, you know, welcome to the genre. But no, resting has totally been like a, a mechanic in this series for forever. And it's really weird to have a, a game that doesn't have any kind of rest and or camp mechanic. Luckily, it does seem like the levels are a little bit smaller, but then again, I've only seen one. So let's return to the city. We've already seen what we wanted to see. So let's identify what we got. Oh, Fire Rod. Plus five. Fire Rod plus five. All right. That's some good stuff. All right, so first and foremost, let's go to him, equipment... Magic Wand, Fire Rod. Okay, so now he should be able to do damage, and he can use it to cast fire. Don't know if it's any good, and I'm probably not going to take the other one off the Cleric, just for backup healing. Alright, so let's go back to the Stranger Base. Let's save, uh, because compulsive, and, you know, terror of losing anything. And, you know what? Let's, let's go, let's go to the, do we want to go to the Mausoleum of Forest? Do we want to go to the Ruined? Or do we want to go to the Shadow Palace? You know, Shadow Palace sounded kind of interesting. Let's try this out. Dude walks slowly down into the stairs, down the stairs into the depths below, and reaches an underground sanctuary aglow with a dim light. All right. So let's just start mapping this out. Might as well get kind of a general feel for how this place is. Got an odd object, but yeah. Uh, the more we map, the easier this will be to navigate. 
uh, in the future, even if, you know, mapping out the the small sections here and there. Okay, I think I think I need to quickly... What is that thing? I have no idea. Anyway, I need to go into the options for a second. Okay. Uh, there we go. Plan exit. I'm so used to turning being, you know, other keys. What is this? Welcome, dude. I've been waiting for you. Helga from the kingdom appears. Behind her, a giant mobile armor stands and stares off into space. This is the Shadow Palace, an area ruled by monsters. No one knows why parts of the Holy Kingdom are becoming tainted. Most likely, the secret lies in the history of Iscario. Some unseen dark powers leaking out from the depths of this land. Even we, the Kingdom of Chivalry, couldn't discover the cause. All we can do is stop the monsters from overflowing out of this area. And there are lineage types now. We have no choice but to ask you strangers to help deal with them. It pains me to ask, but we need your help. Understood. Hmm. A reliable. We need to... F we need the strangers to once again eliminate the lineage types here. They recently began reviving. Gosh, how annoying. What happened? If the Chosen One takes the Blood Crystal, the lineage type will die. If you give that power to a vessel, they'll no longer revive. But if the Blood Crystal is broken before it reaches a vessel, that power returns to the land, and it'll become a lineage type again. Something must have happened to the strangers who had those crystals. Sorry, I got carried away. When hunting for lineage types, here, look out for some things. Oh, hunting for lineage types here, look out for some things. First, monsters that are spirits. Normal equipment doesn't work on them. If you're stuck, use the wizard skill called Magic Weapon. It's temporary, but everyone's weapons will work on spirits. And the second thing is, there's a trick to this place. Dude, what do you see? A pathway. Hmm, good answer. To be honest, some paths in here are one-way dead ends. It may seem fine from here, but if you go and take a look, there's a wall there. Don't worry, there's an exit. Don't panic, just find a new route. I know you can get through this. I'm placing my trust in you. You can fulfill Lady Merrillus' hopes. Thank you, dude. Alright, so for the time being, let's just shimmy our way through. This seems like a good idea. I'm gonna ring around the monster for a second. Okay. Eh, let's fight him. Okay, enemy encountered. Poison slime. Oh, come on, really? Alright, whatever. Skill slash skill chivalric sword. Fight. Defend, defend, and fight. Okay, apply. Well, this is worrisome. We're probably going to want to actually escape as soon as we're done with this. This is pain in the... This is pain in the dill hole. Okay, so... I'm not entirely sure if these are spirits. We're going to have to use magic against them, and I've only got one guy for that. Okay. Let's see, so we want to do spell, multi-cure, spell... Try fire for the time being. Okay, did that work? It did. Never mind, running. Flash escape. Okay, so, I'm gonna take this as a very good sign to come back way later. Don't know if we're gonna get attacked by anything, but also that poison could hurt. Let's see. It's a one-way dead end. I see what they mean. Oh, I see. So we're good now. So it's just a series of one-way doors. Well, one way or another, we don't want to be we don't want to be poisoned here. So let's return to the city. Turns out, uh, shadow whatever, absolutely not worth going into until we can figure out how to fight those slimes. Is there a way here? No, that's not it. Info? One of lineages. Predator of Shadow, Danger Two Star, a knight that was melted by a giant slime in the depths of the palace. Is that even possible? Investigate. 
Okay. Mausoleum of Metal, we've already got them. Let's see. Danger, one star, one star, two star, two star. Okay, so it feels like going to the forest is probably the next idea. Uh, next best idea. And then we've also got Valley of the Ruined. Well, one way or another. Uh, let's see. I guess we didn't really do anything. But at the same time, let's actually, let's swing by the base for a second. Lineage Rumors. Oh, you want to hear rumors? I heard it from someone else, so it might not be accurate, but... South of the Mausoleum of Forest, there lives a princess of plants. She used to be deep in the forest, but she comes out a lot lately. But she doesn't like humans, so she hides when she's seen. Well, you should go look for her if you want to. Might be fun. Oh yeah, I heard this rumor too. There's a rumor that a rare slime was seen in the Shadow Palace. A soldier on patrol saw it in a dark room while he was on break. It approached without a sound and suddenly grabbed him. Just imagining it scares me. That's all I got. It's just a rumor, so it's up to you whether to believe it or not. If it's good enough for you, come back at any time and listen. So the question is, did that get me any new wanted lineages? No. Because this is the Princess of Plants. So that actually didn't give me any extra interesting information. That's a bit of a shame. Wait, I want to take a look at Shadow Palace. What's with this guy? Golden Magic Knight. If you find the Heartstone beneath the palace, get rid of it. If you don't, it'll appear. I see, so I'd have to fight this thing. But yeah, I think we'll start with the Mausoleum for uh, Forest next. But, for the time being, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode of... Uh, Stranger of Sword City. And as always, thanks for watching.